Hey guys, welcome we'll back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. The winning uniforms are back on, and our midterms are coming up at the end of the week. But it's already Wednesday, so likely they're going to start tomorrow. Uh, it's raining today, so we could have studied if we needed to. Thankfully, uh, I'm more studious in the game than in real life, and I don't actually need to study last minute because I've got max knowledge. So, we have time to wander around and see what we can get up to. I think let's start with uh, meeting the rest of the kids around school, see what they have to say about recent events, and then, I don't know, maybe we'll go to Aya for another mega beef bowl challenge. Jeez, it's like a war zone on those fields. My hair is all grungy, my hands are calloused. I can't take it anymore. It's autumn now, so why am I still getting sunburned? So lame. <sighs> Where am I going to get something like that? Uh, get what? Sunscreen? You should probably go to Juness. Or you can go to the shopping district to support your local businesses. Well, my dad's been pretty down ever since he shut down his plastic bottle shop. Oh, I've met your dad. I've actually done a quest for him. I, uh, I made a model for him. He was a really lovely guy. I'd love to help him out, so yes, please, lay the quest on me. I was wondering what I could do. Then I thought maybe I could round up all the regular kids who used to go there. But they said they wouldn't come see him unless I gave them badges. I was going to give them the ones from Shiroku's, but they don't like those. I don't know where else to look. Leave it to me. Really? All right, well, the kids said they want proof of passion. There are three kids in all, so I guess I'll need three badges. I'm so sorry, but I leave it to you. Accepted Quest 46, Desk Refurbishing Part 3. Well, this is Part 3 of our quest line with you, so... I mean, obviously, I've got a reputation for fulfilling my quests. Even though this guy refuses to lend me a cleaning mop after all these months... Despite the fact that I've given him a bunch of other stuff, I bet you I can give him something right now. Well, if I want a cleaning mop, if you want a cleaning mop, sorry, I'll trade it to you for Aya Katana. You still need something from me? I need the cleaning mop. Th that's sleep near. There we go. See, I told you you'd want something from me. So that's what the legs of the godly beasts look like. If I were to wear this, would I gain the power of flight? No, you won't. I'm begging you with my life. Please exchange that sleep near for the weapon I made. I'll exchange it for the mop, but obviously that cannot be done. So I'll exchange it for jet boots instead, I guess. This was your failed prototype to achieve flight by attaching these boots to your legs. Or to your feet, sorry. Not your legs. Really? Oh, thank you so much, no backsies. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I'll keep doing my best from here on out. Yeah, you do that. Naoto is a girl. Is that true? Some of the guys in class were talking about it. I saw that whole thing about it on the Midnight Channel too, but... It can't be, right? So the stuff you see on the Midnight Channel becomes reality or something? <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe I'll have to watch it again. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing on the Midnight Channel anymore. The killer is uh, taking a hiatus. He's on a sabbatical, which is fortunate for us because we've got our exams coming. Uh, I'm sick of tired of hearing about the Midnight Channel. Everybody keeps on talking about it. It's so boring to talk about the same thing over and over again. Uh, anyway, isn't this fog dreary? Oh, okay, so we so we move to the weather, because that's a, a suitable replacement topic. Yep, it's dreary. I agree. We have it so often now, it's making my hair hard to style. That is a shame. Thankfully, I haven't, I haven't had to st uh, style my hair once this entire school year. You heard about the Midnight Channel? Seems like everybody knows about it now. I heard you can get hit by radio waves and get paralyzed or something. Sounds pretty dangerous. But, uh, yeah, that's all I've heard. Really, you didn't hear about Rize's, uh, you know, risque show, or, uh, Naoto offering to do a body-altering procedure live on TV? Thankfully it was at midnight, none of the kids would have seen it. Down here, oh, Kanji's there. These students are gossiping loudly. Hey, did you hear what happened at Junas? You mean Rizet's secret concert? Yeah. Secret concert defeats the whole purpose of hosting that concert in the first place. We did it because we needed to attract people to come to Juness. But uh, I guess it was a secret concert. It was a last minute thing because Ka Kahneman's honorary chief thing got cancelled, right? Maybe she sent some kind of crisis brewing. You don't see Rosette on TV much lately after all. Yikes, that sounds like some TV show. Showbiz sure is cutthroat. I mean, you're not wrong. It is. Kanji, you're senpai. right. Senpai. So senpai. I've got something to ask you, man to man. C can you tutor me? Oh, we can study together with Kanji. Um, I think we are a bit behind on our uh, bond with him, but 
really do need to get my understanding up, don't I? And uh, diligence as well, even though I don't think I've encountered anything that requires diligence apart from fishing. But uh, I don't have the required bait because I need to go for it during the daytime. So, uh, and I haven't had a chance to go during the day because we had the concert. We had our fake study group at Junis because study groups never work out. Uh, I don't know why people pretend to do so. At least a study group of that, of that uh, magnitude. But uh, for now, let's not study together. Oh, Ma's gonna put me through a wall when she sees my test scores. It's okay, I'm not the only person who could tutor you, right? You can find Yukiko, I'm sure she's around. I remembered something from long ago in my life. There was this girl that I used to listen to the radio with when I was a kid. Whatever happened to her? She was really energetic and happy. I remember she was always smiling. I wonder what kind of girl she's become in life. Who knows, maybe you've influenced her to become a uh, radio personality. Maybe it's because I started building radios again, but I've been reminiscing about my life a lot lately. Hmm, interesting. Well, hopefully uh, you encounter her someday. Why don't you build a radio and see if you can contact her? She might be one of those uh, ham radio enthusiasts, you know? A little while ago, I gathered my courage and went to the faculty office to ask for some help with my homework. Mrs. Nakayama wasn't much help, but Mr. Kondo was able to teach me. He's a very energetic guy. He's teaching English and phys ed, you know, and uh, honestly, he comes up a lot, doesn't he, when it comes to asking questions in class. I think he's the most prolific teacher to appear. And afterwards, Mr. Komai gave me some candy. Well, that's nice. I'm glad that uh, he gave you some candy. And finally, this swing looks like we've got uh, another quest in the distance. How's your grandmother, my friend? Families are such complicated things, aren't they? Sometimes just being in the same house isn't enough. Ever since my grandma collapsed, my mom and dad have been annoyed at every little thing, and they stay home more. Well, yeah, I, I guess they're stressed out, you know? There's a lot going on with your grandma. It's obviously one of their parents, and uh, it's, it's tough to go through that when they're sick for a prolonged period of time. We can be right next to each other, but it's like we can't talk about anything. It makes being home kind of uncomfortable. And that's why you're always at school, huh? Well, hopefully uh, your parents can... Uh, relax a little when your grandmother gets better. Senpai! I saw your live concert at Juness! Everybody at school is talking about it. Not only were you up on stage with Rosette, but you even played the bass for her! I know, right? I learned it in one weekend. Incredible stuff. It's only a matter of time until you get your own fan base. Expect the school's rankings to have some massive changes. What, I'm not on the leaderboard already? I should be. I was getting royal jelly in my locker, you know. Oh, but that whole stage diving thing might take away some points, too. I disagree with that. I think I would get even more points because of the recovery I made landing on my superhero pose with the guitar in hand, I think it was, still. At least I didn't land on my face. Or, like, Yosuke. Jeez, I'm not... I get my own fan base. Pfft. I should have my own fan base already, right, Naoki? So-san, good afternoon. Uh, I should probably ask someone a bit more upbeat. It's raining, huh? When it rains, Dad does the delivery, so I'm supposed to watch the store, but I don't really feel like it. I'm just going to stay here until I feel I'm ready. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't need to hear that. So, he's still saying the same thing after all these months. I guess there's nothing in my shoe locker, but that's okay, that's about to change, isn't it? Oh, I see Nato hanging around there. My knowledge is uh, good enough. Hello, my wonderful girlfriend. Oh! Sokun, how are your studies going? Why don't we study together? Uh, <laughs> I should... But I already turned down kanji, and I, I'm really feeling like a mega beef ball right now. We should go get a mega beef ball together. How about that? Maybe we can just share the one bowl, and I'll actually find out what's at the bottom of the bowl now. And I bet you it's not a portal to the meat dimension. It's just a big scam. I see. It's too bad. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you sad. Uh, hang on. Almost reached Nauto. This might be only a m rumor, but is it true that Inaba isn't the only place that gets foggy like this? Man, I wonder if the next mountain climb will be okay. Fog in the mountains would be really dangerous. And it sucks, too, just when the weather started to cool down and make climbing more bearable. Hmm. Well, I wonder how high the fog reaches. Well, actually, let's go grab this quest first. Well, this is it. It's time to put up or shut up. I made a deal with my dad. If I can pass all my classes with an 80% or better, I can make art again. All I've got to do is cram like there's no tomorrow, even though I never get better than the class average. Uh, good luck. You know, let's remain the optimist. Thanks, I'll do my best. Oh, I just remembered. Hey, would you mind helping me out with something? Listen to her request. 
Well, the thing is, I don't have enough materials for this piece of art I'm trying to make. I thought you can only make this piece of art if you get 80%. How about that, huh? How about we not prepare for something that... Well, I don't want to say it out loud, but let's just, you know, be frank. It's unlikely. <laughs> if uh, you've only been getting the class average and you're planning on cramming. Do you know where I can find a high-speed gear, Senpai? I might know. I'm bluffing, but it's okay. Really? Does that mean you'll get it for me? I'll make sure you don't regret it. Please, I'm counting on you. Quest 50. Acquire a high-speed gear. All right, uh, it's on the list. Well, Naoto. It's a battle of the brains now. Hello. Good day, Sosan. Nice timing. I was about to go see you. Why don't we go to the other world? I want to investigate it a bit. Now? When we've got exams, Naoto? My go Are you trying to sabotage me? You trying to trick me? It seems Naoto wants to go inside the TV. A and, you know, when we go on the TV, we all have to go. So you want to... You want to sabotage Kanji? Chie? And probably Yosuke as well? I don't know about Rize. Likely is her. <laughs> but uh, Yukiko, you and I... We'll probably be fine. Will you call up your friends and go with them? Uh, not today. Is that so? Nato looks disappointed. Hey now, it's exam period, okay? I'm just looking out for my team. I'm the leader, after all. Gosh, have some compassion, Nato. Goodness me, the audacity. <laughs> uh, let's check the bookstore. Is there anything new here? It seems a new book has arrived. There you go. Farewell to man. 1,200 yen. Transcend manhood to a new destiny. Should I buy it? Well, I don't need to transcend manhood. I already have. <laughs> Farewell to man. Let's just purchase it. What does it do for us? The Amazing Khan Saga, Volume 5. Reading it may raise your courage. Which also is not maxed out at this point. La la, rain, rain, fall, fall, rainy days. Hear the sound as it hits the ground. La la, rare materials may be found. Beachy, beachy, chapu, chapu, la la. Hmm, am I saying it wrong still? Maybe it's because I'm in front of this weird store. I mean, one of these days, you've got to get the lyrics right. Hmm. I don't think I've been to Daidara since since coming back from Nato's lab. So let's go see what he's got for us. Welcome. It's raining today. On droopy days like this, your heart for art tends to dull. Maybe it's because I don't see many rare materials. Okay, make a beef bowl it is because I can't catch bugs when it's raining. So again, I'm delayed. And then I've got exams coming, which means I'm more delayed <laughs> to catch the freaking bug that I need to catch the fish that I need to give to the old man. And I don't know where else the, the quest goes from there. The, this is the Chinese diner. Aya. Aya seems to be having some kind of promotion today, the usual. 146,000 yen. Spend some time here. One of these days. Central Shopping District Chinese diner. Aya, you accepted the rainy day made a, make a beef bowl challenge. You still can't see the rice. Begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within the bowl is truly staggering. I need an understanding of my limits, knowledge to control my pace, courage to face the unrel unrelenting tide of beef, and diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. Um, obviously, I'm unable to finish my meal. You tried your best to finish the rainy make day special mega beef ball challenge and your personality has grown tremendously. Your understanding has increased, your courage has increased, your diligence has increased. Nothing has advanced to the next level yet. Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, too bad, mister. It'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Thank you. Well, at least he didn't go on about his daughter again. <laughs> After finishing your meal, you went home. Welcome back. Thank you, Nanako. I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. There was a delivery for you. I left it on the table. It's the nice shoes combo you purchased from the TV show. And wasabi jelly from Tired Tanaka. You obtained a bonus prize sticker. Thank you so much. You work as a janitor at the hospital today. Yeah, right. Oh, Nanako is available. Excellent. Let's go into town, see what's going on there. Right, Chie is there, but I think it's fine. We're just one rank off uh, from maxing her out. So let's spend some time with Nanako. Um... Yes? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. I have Angel. Our relationship is going to become closer soon. Excellent, you'll spend the evening with Nanako. I mean, will you spend? But I will, yes. Spend time with Nanako. Yeah! Okay, yay! Nanako looks happy. I mean, we max out Ojima. We need to max out Nanako quick if we're um, gonna balance things out you in know this house. photo you found before? Yes. I gave it back to Dad. Oh, and did it make him smile? He looked happy and smiled at me. I'm glad. Big bro, I love my dad. I know you do. <laughs> what about me? He loves you, too. <laughs> I think so, too. Good, I'm glad. Nanako was smiling cheerfully. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. No, I guess that's why we went there, and it would have made sense <laughs> if I had done this first. I see. He smiled at me and said, You remember, too? Dad loves Mom. 
He does. He does. And that's why it hurts so much. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. You lost someone too. Uh, he still has you. Yeah, I won't go anywhere. Good, you shouldn't. Nanako smiles vigorously. I'll protect you, and your dad will protect you too. I'm glad to be dad's daughter. <laughs> this is just, like, I mean, Thanksgiving is next month, Nanako, but hey, what's wrong with doing it a bit early, right? Nanako is smiling so happily, I think her teeth are about to fall out. Smiling so much. I'm about to go blind. It's so radiating. Through this smile, you feel your relationship has grown even deeper. Oh, lovely. Rank 9 with Nanako Dojima. The Nanako Dojima social link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana is growing. It's your turn to talk. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you passed the mic over to me. Sometimes I don't even get that when I'm speaking with uh, certain people that I love. <laughs> It's okay, she's not gonna watch, guys. She's not gonna watch. Don't tell her. It's just about Nanako's bedtime. What will you do? Uh, I should put her to bed, but let's talk with her a little more. Actually, no, let's play with her. No, let's talk with her. Play with her. Yay! Yeah. Then, uh, I know. Let's play cards! I'm the cool big bro, you know? I don't just take her to bed. I'm not her dad. I'm, I'm the cool big bro. Let's play cards indeed. Nanako looks really happy. You decide to play some cards with her. What do we play? I don't even know. Poker? <laughs> it's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Right, is it exam time yet? I think so. You overhear students talking. Hopefully I know all the answers. Ugh, midterms start tomorrow. But I feel so lazy. Wait, midterms are only taking place over two days. Oh, well that's cool. I can't believe you're so hardcore about studying for the exam, Senpai. Are you sure you're gonna need to know all this stuff in the future? Well, I'm guessing because she's your Senpai, she needs to prepare for college. Well, you probably won't. By the way, would you not say the word lazy around me, especially this early in the morning? Oh, whatever. After exams, we have the Culture Festival. There are more first-year students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. I mean, Rosette's gonna be there, I think. There's the late guy. <laughs> I mean, how late can he be? We're usually just walking to school at that time, and he's always running past us. Like, he's literally, like, he's he's going after the bell's rung, you know? So, there's a teacher here who tried to put a problem on the test involving a student's bust waist hip measurements. I won't say who, but isn't that just wrong? I mean, who cares about a high school girl's measurements? It would have been much more interesting if they were mine, huh? I mean, what? Okay, first off, why is a high school girl's measurements on the exam? Thankfully, Rize's kind of already told us <laughs> the general stats back in the hospital, so I guess we're prepared for that exam question. And second, no, your measurements shouldn't be on there either, you bloody lustful woman. But, oh man, middle-aged dudes are so perverted. I can feel them looking at me in the faculty lounge. <laughs> Let me guess, you're bending over the trash can for like half an hour, peeling a banana or something. By the way, speaking of middle-aged men, there's this cute little fish called the Ochi-san. Isn't that just a cute name? Too bad there's no fish called the Obasan. I guess that's because no matter how old we get, women are still women. Oh? So good? Were you just listening to what I just said? Uh, yes, of course I was. What kind of fish was I just talking about? The, uh, Oji-san? You gave the answer you think is correct. <laughs> I'm glad you were listening to me. I was listening to you and lecturing you in my mind at the same time. It's actually named the Goatfish, but it's commonly called the Oji-san. It's called that because it has whiskers and looks just like a middle-aged man. I want you to remember that, so... I'll be putting it on the test that starts tomorrow. You gave the correct answer. Thank you for letting us know that you're putting it on the test, though. That's a pretty cool move. Your knowledge has increased. Classes have ended for today. Since you have no leads, you must wait until the criminal takes action. That's not good. <laughs> we, we should be proactive. We need to save people's lives, and we're just, like, chilling and waiting. You know what? Let's wait for the killer to do something, and then we'll investigate. Goodness me. Chie, you alright? 
Hmm. I wish Tess would just disappear from the face of the earth. Ugh. So can you free today? Maybe you could tutor me? Or not? Sorry, GA. Ugh, oh, figures. I have to see who's available first. I can't just commit to studying with the first person I see, and it just happens to be you, you know? No clubs today because of the exams. That's fine. Oh, look, Yukio is available today. Let's see if we are ready to advance our relationship. Oh, Soka. <laughs> I feel kind of embarrassed. D do you want to go somewhere? Seems Yukiko isn't busy right now. My relationship's not ready to advance yet. Okay, that's fine. I'll cancel that. I see. Goodbye, then. Look, Yukiko looks a bit sad. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'll make it up to you, I promise. Oh, Naoto. Can we actually go out with you today, or um, you want to go into the TV world once more? Oh, Sosan. Um, thank you for saving me. You're quite welcome. Uh, I apologize, but I have something I want to think about. Nato seems absorbed in thought about something. Lucky I've got five knowledge. You didn't have the courage to ask her- Oh my god. She's shifted the goalposts. Oh, this game of speed chess against my rival. It's too much for me. Okay, that's fine. Find someone else to hang out with. Kanji, my man. My main yeah. man, Kanji. Hey, so senpai you have some time? Kanji seems to have some free time. Of course, it's not ready to advance yet. Is that so? I see. Kanji looks a bit sad. Everyone looks a bit sad today because <laughs> I can't advance my relationship with them. Oh, Titty, you're here. I guess you don't have a bike, so we'll have to rollerblade our way back to the beach. Oh, Sensei. The people here are so nice. Every time I come, they give me snacks. Just like just now, they said, I'll give you this if you just go away. <laughs> really? Yeah, that, they're so nice. Where am I supposed to go, though? Do you want to go somewhere with me? Teddy seems bored. Invite Teddy to go out somewhere? Sorry. Decline this offer. Yeah. Are you busy, Sensei? Okay. Then I'll stay here and keep scrounging for snacks. Okay, you do that. Oh, Aaron boy. Hey, I asked you about your birthday before, right? That's coming up soon, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, probably. W what do you mean, probably? You know your own birthday, don't you? Hmm. You're right. I should know that. Well, you're not being much help. Uh, here, enjoy. Uh, happy birthday. Whenever it is. Candy? You're giving it to me? It's not like it's a big deal. It's only a birthday gift. Uh, just eat it already. <laughs> oh, Aaron boy. I love this character arc he has going on. Marie's available? Marie, my main girl. My main girl, Marie. Oh, you're here. Oh, okay. She's also... She seems sad before I've even declined her. <laughs> Marie looks depressed. Feel the relationship with Marie will deepen. Done. I'll take it. Spend the afternoon with Marie. Not yet, though, because I need to catch bugs now that oh. I finally have an opportunity to do so. I see. Marie looks sad. I'll be back. I'll be back, I promise. My mom said that my sister and I aren't that similar. Oh, older twin, of course. You've just changed to winter gear. But that's not true. We're totally the same. My mom isn't a twin, so she just doesn't understand. I bet we're even able to use telepathy. Oh, that's right. Thank you for helping out in the experiment. Hmm, but the telepathy never worked, huh? I was trying my best and everything, too. It's okay. It's all right. Might need to take you to a lab or something. Uh, how's your cousin? My cousin's been in the hospital for so long, but he's finally going to be released. Hey, that's excellent news. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's almost as if I'm the one getting out of the hospital. I need to get him a present to celebrate this. I wonder what would be good. I don't know, but don't ask that suspicious looking teddy bear over there. <laughs> it's just gonna be bad news. I feel so invested in everyone's like relationships. The guy's grandmother, this guy's cousin, out of towner. How are you going? I saw her again. The Egyptian. I wasn't making it up before. But I haven't heard any rumors about her. Is that normal? Am I going crazy? Life out here in the countryside is starting to confuse me. You've been here too long, <laughs> like me. Uh, Namatame. I guess I haven't written you off the suspect list just yet. In fact, I've added your wife. Mayumi, you can only do my best. This is all I can do for her. This is the least I can do. See, like, what if we've got another Mitsuo situation and Mayumi was killed by the Inaba serial killer and then he's taken over the man mantle. He killed the Inaba serial killer and he's become her avenging her? No, that doesn't make any sense. Forget that theory. <laughs> Throw it out. Trying too hard to think about who the killer may be. I am suspicious of uh, the old guy that walks up here late at night. Uh, I guess this is him? I can't quite tell if he's the same person. Hello, you. I saw Rizet's live show. 
man, it's been a while since I got that excited. Uh, I mean, we rocked it. Pun intended. Surprises like that hardly ever seem to happen in Inaba. Oh, I wish I should do another one. Maybe, if you fundraise or something. A worthwhile cause and we'll be there. We didn't even get to name our band, unfortunately. What should I do for dinner tonight? Maybe I'll make croquettes. The trick is to fry them at a high temperature. If the oil isn't hot enough, they'll get all soggy. Not that I'm complaining about your cooking, but don't make beef croquettes. Huh? Why not? You don't know? Right now, Inaba's beef is... Uh, well, never mind. How strange. Grandfather would never say anything bad about Inaba. Maybe he's taking a turn for the worse. Maybe he's getting stressed out because his murder victims don't become murder victims. They become saved. What? Well, why did you have to interrupt me when I... Should be obvious that I was lost in thought. I was just taking a stroll down memory lane. All my friends from years ago. They all left this town one by one. I can't count on them anymore. Boy, you need to treasure those friends of yours while you still have them. Seems like he's going to continue talking. <laughs> what will you do? Listen politely. People. They're frightening things, aren't they? Once they find something they like, they'll keep asking for it. I am well and truly impressed by your kindness, boy. I think I understand you, but... I want to get into the best sauna ever made. I think I could do it, too, if I had fine coal. I feel like I've given you coal before, haven't I? Youngster, would you bring some to me? Sure thing, Gramps. Look <laughs> you busy, you old coot. Sure thing, Gramps. Really? Is it okay? Aren't you busy with school and all that jazz? Oh, no, never mind. Thank you, boy. I'm looking forward to it. Except in Quest 51, acquire fine coal. Alright, it's on the list. Hey, did you hear? The TV news came to the school where I work. This distinguished politician gave an award to one of the students. He was saying how polite and quiet the student was. Uh, it wasn't one of my students, though. But I'm still proud of my school. I wonder if it'll be me when I, in the news soon. Uh, you don't want to be on TV. You might end up in the, uh, in the TV world. Funnily enough, though, our killer seems to be targeting a younger audience as of late. It's strange. Now that I think about it, and I go back to my random Namatame theory I just tossed out before, Mayumi is like the only adult that was taken into the TV world. Was she not? Because following her was Saki, who's a student at Yasugami High. Then we had Yukiko. Then we had Kanji. Then we had Rize. We suspected Mr. Moroka would be a victim, but no, that's uh, Mitsuo Kubo. Um, and then we had Naoto. This guy's stalking me. I don't like it. I feel like he's going to kill me. <laughs> uh, so why is Mayumi the only adult that was thrown into the TV world? And why is it that everyone apart from Mitsuo end up in the TV world, right? Like, hmm. I don't think he dove into the TV world, did he? Because he ended up in that dungeon. I don't know. It's too much to think about. But yeah, Mayumi is quite the outlier, and because she's a reporter, right? She's always on the TV. It's not like she had a one-off appearance, like with Saki, Yukiko, and all that, having that interview. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. Perhaps that's something I need to consider. There's so many kinds of bugs in Inaba. Feels one of every... It feels one of every single kind has splattered against my face when I'm out riding my motorcycle at night. Leaf beetles are nothing, but one of those things came flying at me the other night. Ugh, don't make me say it. Just thinking back to it is like reliving the trauma. I see. Well, speaking of bugs, I need to go catch some. Hopefully I get the right one this time. It's the mailbox. I have sufficient number of prize stickers for redemption, you recall. You can either choose the playful combo or the rare combo. Let's go for the rare combo. I can hardly wait for it to arrive. I sound so excited. Hey, Shota. Let's sit next to each other on the bus when we go on the field trip. But I want to sit with my friends. You don't like me, Shota? So much that you don't even want to sit with me? That's... well, no, but... <laughs> Yay, then that's settled. Oh, she got you. Oh, weak-willed boy. Oh, boy. Fell for the oldest trick of the book. So you don't want to? Well, it's not that good. Decided. <laughs> because it's in the shade, the area here is moist. Love the word moist. Yeah. Song on it with perfect timing. What did I catch? I caught Mayo Cricket, Heike Stag Beetle, Daimayo Grasshopper, and a Mayo Cricket. 
Fantastic. Stuff I don't need. Well, Marie, we can be depressed together because I still didn't catch the necessary bug. Actually, first, before I hang out with Marie, I found the historian that the person in the, um, Okina City was looking for, so let's go there. Oh, and another quest as well awaits us. That's fine. Uh, here we are. In movies, there's no guarantee that the main character will survive. Or sometimes they might suffer wounds or trauma that's worse than death. You told her everything you heard about Uparts. Wow, interesting. I guess there's a lot of different types. Oh, this is for you, as thanks. I think you'll find it useful. You obtained Mystical Scarab. Ooh, a Mystical Scarab. Just what I always wanted. Thank you very much. I feel so much better. That particular movie, by the way, was about resurrecting ancient zombies with Uparts. The incroguity of resurrecting zombies is all kinds of exciting. I mean, yeah, it's 2011. Zombies were still the rage back then. Unfortunately, not anymore. God, I was such a huge zombie buff. I wish I still was, to be honest, but I think watching The Walking Dead actually put me off it. I don't know why that show was still going on, like, five seasons later. I guess that's what finally killed it for me. My homework never ends. I'm not crazy about drawing practice. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of art, there's a story about this painting of fear. All right, hold it. That sounds like something I don't want to hear about. <laughs> Tough girl isn't so tough when it comes to creepy girl. Maybe we should see a movie. You're walking in the opposite direction. Uh, missing pet. Who do I contact first at times like these? Uh, the pet detective? Ace Ventura? Perhaps? Hey, uh, that girl who's always there alone. Do you know her? I know, she gave me a mystical scarab. <laughs> She's my girlfriend. Ha ha, I always see her at the movies alone. Yeah, well, uh, we watch different movies, obviously. I feel like our eyes meet a lot these days. See? She was just looking at me just now, wasn't she? What should I do? I have no idea. Well, I mean, I just said that she was my girlfriend and you're still chasing after her. The audacity. I guess you've clearly got the courage. I don't know what to do. My boyfriend is just too amazing. He'll do anything I want if I whine and always thinks of me first. He doesn't have much money, though. <laughs> well, that's clearly not going to last very long, is it? Hey, you. You seem too fashionable to be from around here. Well, it's just my school uniform, Miss Quiet Housewife. Mmm, that scent. You smell like the city. Now, I'm just a quiet country housewife, but I was once a goddess of the stage. Of course you were. Ah, those days. The roar of the crowd, the smoldering gazes of the men. Listen, will you grant a wish of mine? Sure. Very kind of you. You'll be a great man someday. I'm already a great man, thank you very much. I went into that clothing store, but they didn't have anything I need. It's not enough to relive my youth. I need something more risque, something that shows off my curves. What I want is an invincible skirt, like the kind I used to wear back in the day. If you ever find something like that, bring it to me so I can see it. Please, find me something to wear. An invincible skirt. Okay, not quite sure what that entails. My daughter saw me here the other day. She got mad and said I was pathetic. I out my wife and you all along. She's been watching over me the whole time. Man, I feel like a loser. Well, what are you doing standing around here for? Go repair your relationship. Our conversation seems serious. It's time. I have to go. Stop! Wait! Just a while longer. We both knew that this kind of woman I am. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. I'm going to go cook with her. I'd like to introduce you to a new arrival. These outfits harken back to the simple, heroic fantasies of children. Here they come, the Neo Featherman set. Evil shall not go unpunished. Bedwetting and cheating will not be permitted either. The style is to die for. I'm Reiko Osa, charismatic fashionista. Cheer Squad set is 59,800 yen, or the Neo Featherman set, 99,000. Oh my gosh. I mean, just for giggles, I'll buy the Cheer Squad set. Done. This costume is part of a set. Do you want to have everyone equip these clothes? Not yet. Thank you for your purchase. Your return will be met with fashionable items next time as well. Cool. Can't wait to come here again with my lack of funds. All right, sorry, Marie, for constantly procrastinating. Hey. I want to go somewhere. Take me out. Uh, sorry, actually, no, wait. I need to get an A on Persona. All right, now we're ready. Listen to Marie's request. Hey. I want to go somewhere. Take me out. My relationship will deepen. Spend the afternoon with Marie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Marie nods slightly. Hey. About that last time... Sorry, I want to talk outside. You decided to take Marie out. Ah, not the riverbank this time. The hill overlooking town. You brought Marie here. She is surprisingly quiet. I'm actually scared that I can't remember anything. 
That is a scary prospect, you know, not remembering your past. Everything about me is borrowed. Everything is just on loan from that room. Yeah, but uh, we can use what's on loan from that room to unlock your past, right, eventually? If I return what I borrowed, I won't have anything left. The name Marie, this body, this voice. They'll all fade away. Well, I don't think they're going to collect their debt until we figure out this mystery, right? So, I think we've got some time. I feel like that's what'll happen to me. Hmm. So, I thought... If only I could at least remember something. But... I couldn't figure out anything. It's really scary. She sounds terrified and upset, and it's breaking my heart, man. Look, um... It's gonna be hard just sitting in that room trying to remember, right? We need to find something that'll trigger your memory. Apparently you're so close sometimes when we had that, uh... That item before. I forget what it was, I'm sorry. <sighs> hey. Maybe I don't have any real memories to find. Oh? What do we have? It's beautiful really is. You love being on top of hills, seeing, like, a tiny town below you. Hey, is this that one place? Sorry? We came here after eating the steak skewers. <laughs> yes, we did. Forgot about that pronunciation. It really is nostalgic here. Is it? Well, if you say so. I don't know why. But it feels like I've known this scenery since a long time ago. Maybe that's related to your memories. I had fun then. Take me there again sometime, okay? Okay. Um... That's a memory. Of course I remember, you stupid jerk-faced twerp. I remember. It's a memory. Exactly. A memory of you and me. Huh. Yeah. I remember. There you go. You didn't need to hurl those insults at me after all. <laughs> I feel stupid now. It feels... incredible. I'm liking her voice actress. She's got a good range, doesn't she? Now she sounds so excited. She's doing very well. Marie closes her eyes, as if reminiscing something. Hey, can we make more? More memories? We sure can, but you've got plenty already, right? Shop in with Chie, uh, hang out with us at Juness, and Marie say accosted you because she didn't know who you were. I'll help. Dummy, of course you will. I can't make any without you. That's not true. You can make memories on your own. I don't have to hurry, huh? Even if I don't have memories, I can make more. That is true, that is true. But it still sucks that, to not remember your past, you know, even if you can make new memories. But this will do for now, right? A temporary band-aid to your, um, despairing situation? <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm happy. That's good, I'm glad. You being happy is making me happy right now. It seems Marie is cheered up. I feel your relationship with Marie has grown deeper. Alright. Rank 9 for Marie. We're so close with so many people. We could do this. The Marie social link has reached level 9. And by this, I mean max out more people. I don't think we're going to max out everyone at this rate. Your power to create personas of the Aeon Arcana has grown. Still, you really are a weird person. Really? Well, weird is good, and some would say sexy. You're so busy, <laughs> and yet you still take time to take care of me. <sighs> yeah, well, you know, I try to make a schedule. Why do you do that? Marie looks at you with anticipation. Oh, okay. Right, I didn't realize we could actually romance Marie. I don't know why I didn't think about that. However, you're already in a relationship with another girl. Why? Because you're my friend. I'm a, I'm a committed friend. guy. I see. So this is what it means to have friends. Yes, that's what it means. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm your friend now. 
You've been my friend for a while, but I guess this is like the official announcement. Look, I'm really counting on you. So let me say, stupid, I hate you. <laughs> I just nod my head like, okay. <laughs> oh, I laughed. You and Marie talk about everything that has happened as you escort her back to the Velvet Room. You're back. I am home. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. No need for that. Let's get our vegetables. The vegetables you planted look ready to be harvested. What will you do? Harvest them. Oh yeah, it's about time to harvest them, huh? All right, I'll give you a hand with that. Oh, I'll gather them too. All right, who is available tonight? And if no one is, then I can read my courage books. We've got Rize. I think I'm not ready to rank up with her, so probably we'll see her tonight. Even though we played a concert with her. Oh, Kanji's available. Actually, let's go hang out with Kanji this evening. Senpai! Sup, so senpai. It's starting to cool down at friggin' last. You as bored as I am? Come on, let's talk for a while. Kanji seems bored. He might appreciate it if you talked with him. But I need a persona. Story of my life. Alright, let's spend time with Kanji. Yeah! Yo! Kanji seems happy. Senpai. Get this. I was out wandering around at night, and another cop questions me. He kept saying I must have done something, and demanded I confess to stuff I ain't done. Good thing Dojima-san happened to pass by and yelled at the cop some for me. Oh, nice. Good on Dojima. That cheered me up a little. There are good people, too. You're right. <laughs> you got that. He's definitely a rare breed amongst cops. Kanji's nodding repeatedly. Well, I hate cops. They're not all the same. Jeez, though. Dojima-san turned fierce quick. Does he get like that at home, too? Kind of. Depends. <laughs> Not anymore. You enjoyed your idle chat with Kanji. You feel your relationship with Kanji is growing stronger. You feel your relationship with Kanji could become stronger soon. Whoa! Damn, look at the time. Sorry for keeping you out here with me. Oh yeah, you want some of this? Can't get enough of the stuff. I want you to have this, senpai. You received checkerboard cookie from Kanji. Well, why didn't you give me a penguin cracker? Well, catch you later. I guess he ate it. Later. You part with Kanji and go home. Alright, midterm time. Your second term midterms begin today and continue until next Thursday. Wait, what? Really? Interesting. Normally it's all in a row. You should hurry to school. Oh man, time's gonna fly by quick. Mm. Ugh. Oh, morning. Hey, how much studying did you get done after we met up? Actually, have you studied at all? What about you? <laughs> Me? How much did you think I would study? Ugh, if I'm gonna die, at least I'll go down fighting. Just like Ryoma Sakamoto. Wait, was that Shinsegumi? <laughs> Shinsengumi, sorry. Here we go, let's see how my memory fares. Midterms, day one. What part of the body contains the Adam's apple? That would be the throat. I feel you've chosen the correct answer. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? On the right, it's not even on the map. No, that would be New Zealand. The right edge. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Good start, good start. 15th, does this mean we've got a day off on Sunday then? Breaking the exams. Midterms, day two. How short was history's shortest war? 40 minutes. Feel you've chosen the correct answer. Venison is the meat of what animal? Uh, all of the above. It's game meat. Feel you've chosen the correct answer. Yes, I thought it was deer before, didn't I? Sunday the 16th. Day off, randomly. You have the day off from school today. Without any clues, all you can do for now is wait for the culprit to make a move. You will be taking exams at school until next Thursday. What should you do today? Not take exams. Are we going to hang out with someone today? Hey, it's me. Sorry, Yosuke. <laughs> I can't. Do you want to make a study group today? we got four more days of exams. I'll pass. Alright, having a big study group might not be such a good idea anyway. I've said this numerous times, Yosuke. It's not a good idea. But if everyone was coming along, I probably could have taken advantage of bonding with everyone. Hmm, that's okay. That's fine. Laters. Yosuke hung up. 
You realize you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. I'm so glad some of you guys enjoy the Tanaka sequence. I, do. I don't know, I just took it and ran with it about halfway through the game. Which program would you watch? Let's watch the shopping program. You hear an infectiously cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Grander of your desires, this Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail-order television program being broadcasted live to you. We've just gotten started. I just got out of my pajamas two minutes ago, but we guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now let's introduce the products available for these three days, but you lucky son of a gun, you've decided to tune in early this morning. It's red battle suit, so durable, nothing can pierce it. It might even look like a suspicious titty that's walking around Juness. I've seen it happen a few times. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's wonderfulness. I'll add diet food to your red battle suit. It's replaced the wasabi jelly. I guess that also counts as diet food because you know what happens once you eat that wasabi jelly. <laughs> All for the low price of only 29,800 yen. We've got another fantastic product on sale today though. Physical mirror. Keep it with you always. It's not enough to just have one mirror. We're going to give you three mirrors, okay? One for your left pocket, your right pocket, and your back pocket. So you can always keep it with you. I probably should have put four so you could put it in your other back pocket as well, but it's okay. I'm saving this on top of this. Actually, no, you know what? I've found three magic mirrors to your physical mirror for only 19,800 yen. The only difference is I've slapped different labels on them. These products are so popular, we can only allow one order per person. Which would you like to purchase today? A bunch of mirrors or a red jumpsuit battle suit <laughs> you can only buy one of the products offered you currently have 75,000 yen oh my god i'm running out red battle suits or physical mirror let's go for the um let's go for the physical mirror i don't need a battle suit i'm fine i'm all good right <laughs> you bought the physical mirror combo including physical mirror times three and magic mirror times three Wow, we've sold through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show. I'm looking forward to those fun houses you guys are all going to build for Halloween since I sold you all those mirrors. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. You hear the catchy song again. Man, I love it when I just sell everything out on Sunday morning. I don't have to be live for three hours. Oh, quick, quick, cut, cut. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Shopping program is in there. You turn off the TV. Let's go see Hasano. Feels like it's been a while since I've been to the Samagawa floodplain. I haven't been able to sleep much lately. I'm falling behind on my night walks. I've been a night owl ever since I was your age, so I suppose you could say it's just an old habit. I should probably try to do something about it, but it's true what they say, old habits die hard. You better watch out for them while you can. Yes, indeed. It's so easy to slip off healthy habits, unfortunately. Especially as you get older and you lose less time because of work and whatnot. I heard in this town but supposedly we've got a star elementary student. Must be a pretty amazing child to get to speak to a politician. Uh, that reminds me of that, um, that teacher at the top of the shopping district. I wonder who it is. My daughter was totally different at that age. Crazy times we live in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I heard a rumor about some grade school student who's really amazing. Something about getting praised by a really admirable teacher. What is this? I wonder whose kid it was. If only we could give them a discount or something. Hmm. I haven't heard anything about this. No. Hate that cat. Actually, you know what? I've got a bunch of leftover fish. I saw it. The live concert at Juness. Now Toussaint's keyboard skills were amazing. But the fact that he was in the same band with Rize Kujikawa? Maybe they are in a close relationship after all. <sighs> well, clearly you don't know him well enough, do you? Because you don't even know that Naoto's a girl. Okay, are we going to be maxing My. out Hasano here? It's either rank 9 or 10. My Sochan, I'm happy to see you. Hasano smiles gently. You feel your relationship with Hasano is going to become closer soon. Will we spend the day with Hasano? Let's do it. Yes. I'd be happy to. Hasano smiles gently. I suppose that today is the last day I'll be seeing this river. Really? Why is that? I've decided to move. Move away from Inaba. My children have offered me a place with them. At first, I turned them down because I didn't want to leave the place I was born in, but... They kept insisting. No. Oh, no. If I stay here, I'll only think about my husband and the time I spent with him. If I stay here and mope around, I'm sure he'll feel bad up in heaven. <laughs> Sano smiles gently. Will you accept this? What is it? You obtained old fountain pen. 
Oh, why, thank you. I saved up my money to buy this a long time ago. I used it to write to my husband before we were married. I'd be delighted if someone... If you would have it. Not even your own children? Wow, I feel very fortunate. Thank you, Asano. I'd feel that... Our story hasn't truly ended. I'll treasure it. Thank you. I believe that the past, when we exchanged letters, is connected to the present day. I'm sure I don't have very long left in this world, but that's not the case for you. You're carrying on my story now. I think I can keep smiling to the end. I think I've had a good life. I hope I get to your age, Hasano, and I can say those exact same words. Right now, I think I'm on track, and it's it's good. I hope I don't lose that energy, and I hope you guys can all get to that point as well. Rooting for you all. 2020 has been a horrible shit year. So, let's just write... Unless it's been a good year for you guys, in which case, damn, go you. You are rocking it if 2020 is your year. It actually kind of is my year, too, to be honest. Hasano's smile is full of affection. It seems you are able to give Hasano some support. Max, death, old lady. Hmm. That reads really weird when I say Max, death, old lady. But we maxed it out. We've conquered death, guys. Aren't we the best? Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Mahakala, the ultimate form of the death arcana like how that last bit rhymes. The Old Lady Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Old Lady Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Death Arcana has reached its maximum, so Waku Senior's forged a bond that cannot be broken by mastering the Death Social Link. You can now fuse Mahakala, the King of Darkness. Alright. Do you have someone you love? Just recently. I do. <laughs> I mean, we're... We're very early into this relationship. We haven't even maxed out our social link, so probably I shouldn't have said that. But, you know, we're going to turn it into something. Okay, it's all right. Haha, <laughs> is that so? Then remember this. Live a long and full life. That is the greatest thing you can do for your beloved. And also for your enemies, because they will get severely pissed off. <laughs> Living a good... Fulfilled life in general is obviously the cure-all. You spent a while talking about different things with Hasano. I hope that one day we will meet again. I hope so too. You said goodbye to Hasano and headed back home. I mean, I'm going to the city as well at the end of the year. Or the end of the school year, I guess. Welcome back. Thank you. Well, that was my day off from exams. <laughs> spent it speaking with an old lady by the floodplains instead of studying it with the group. Yukiko is available this evening. That's good news. Come on, boss. Let's go home. You should have more friends to drink with. Don't you get lonely just drinking with me? Wah, you're the one who dragged me out here with you. Ah, uh, never mind that. This is what your boss says. That's an order. <laughs> oh gosh, these two. I hope they just recover by the end of the year. Chie is also available. I don't think I can rank her up either, so it might be worth spending time with her. I'm kind of nervous about that uh, child thing. I feel like that's going to become a plot point soon. All right, Yukiko, let's spend the evening together. Hey! Oh, Sokun, good evening. It's a fine night. I'm on my way back from making a delivery. It was a very sudden request, but I finished it faster than I expected to, so I was taking a short break. Yukiko seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talked with her, but I don't have my Empress persona. Sorry, Priestess persona. I'll see you later. Well then, good night. I will see you soon. I'm just gonna disappear right before your eyes. Done. Huh? Oh, we meet again. We do. <laughs> I've Saki meet him at this time. Spend time with Yukiko. <laughs> okay, I wanted to chat with you too. Yukiko is smiling. Because we both don't need to study for the exam. Hey. You know, Teddy's been the number one subject of conversation among the girls at school. Really? Is Hanako the one that's bringing it up a lot? He leaves as suddenly as he appears, so they call him the Shooting Star Prince. Everyone's called the Prince. Okay, what about me? I was never referred to as the Prince. Then again, I should be referred to as the King. 
Apparently, some of the girls follow him all the way to Juness and give him snacks. <laughs> he might become a homegrown Inaba idol at this rate. He can get in line. <laughs> well, why don't the two of you make your debuts together? Teddy would be the comedian, so I guess you could be his straight man? <laughs> no! I'm taking center stage. Yukiko seems... sounds eager for some reason. Teddy has this mysterious charm about him that draws people in. Every time I see him at Juness, he's always surrounded by fans. Really now? Damn, I'm envious of the little... devil. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yukiko. You feel your relationship with Yukiko is growing stronger. Well... Oh, if I don't get back soon, everyone will be worried. Still, maybe we could take the long way back on purpose. <laughs> Just kidding. Or maybe. Unless. <laughs> hey, Soka, I want you to have this. I want you to have this. I love Marshmallow. Oh my gosh. How adorable. <laughs> it's a special something just for you. Well, shall we get going? We shall. Good Unfortunately, night. we're not uh, going to become close soon, so we're going to just need, need to spend another night together. You saw you could go off to the bus stop and then went home. Alright, let's continue the exams. Midterms, day three. Until Thursday, goodness me, what is the Japanese name for panda? Oh gosh, I forgot. I forgot. Black and white bears? You feel you've chosen the correct answer. <laughs> I was gonna say monochrome, but they're not monochrome, are they? They've got two colors. Oh, then monochrome is referred to as black and white. It's fine. <laughs> I got the right answer, okay? Which bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English phrase to stick one's head in the sand? It was chicken, right? Oh, shit. You don't have a good feeling about that answer. Oh, I forgot. Was it ostrich? It's fine. It's fine. Midterms day four. What was the name of the Wasan textbook that came out in the Edo period? Wasan Shoujo? What? <laughs> what did Napoleon have invented? He had glass jars invented, okay? That day off screwed me. You feel you've chosen the correct answer. Wednesday. In terms of day five, which season is the adjective brisk Akigo for? Was it spring? It's been a while. You don't have a good feeling. What is dragon's blood? It is plant raisin. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. It just sounds like something like poison ivy, you know, dragon's blood. I swear they used it in, in Harry Potter as well <laughs> as a potion ingredient. It's the last day of the exams. You answered every question with ease. You answer seem to be flowing from your hand. There we go. Oh, wow, look at me writing as fast as I eat that mega beef ball. Well, I don't think we're going to top the class. <laughs> it's finally over. Well, I think we did quite well. Hey, about question eight. No, no, not talking about exams. Chie and Yukiko are completely absorbed in reviewing the exam. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm going to head home. Fair enough. I don't know how you did exams with an all-nighter, but, uh, I mean, I've done it before. <laughs> it's not the smartest thing to do. See you later. It wasn't really an all nighter, I slept for like half an hour. So I could, uh, what would you call it? Like, refine my memories, my studies, you know, because you need to sleep. The thing about, the wh the reason why cramming doesn't work is because you need to sleep to file those memories away. If, if you don't sleep, you don't give your, your brain enough time to solidify that into your long-term memory, which is why, if you're cramming, you need to sleep at least a little bit. <laughs> That's the secret. Never pull an all nighter. At last, the long midterms are finally over. That was really long, wasn't it? Today was the final day of midterm. Since you have no leads, you must wait until the criminal takes action. The long week of testing has finally ended. What will you do today? Good question. What will I do today? Right, it's been a while, so let's hang out with the, uh, with the sports club. Uh-huh. Yo, so, I don't see Ko, but you've got practice today, right? So you have Sandman, some of the strength arcanes, you might get along well. Our relationship's gonna be on closer soon. Will you attend basketball practice this afternoon? Let's do it. <laughs> You're really getting into it. The XK seems to admire you. Mm. Yasugami High Gym. 
You attended basketball practice. Your diligence has increased. Your diligence has changed from strong to thorough. Awesome. Finally. Co isn't here. Perhaps something urgent came up. Man, I'm beat. Let's call it a day. Hmm, where is he? He also got me high shoe lockers. He's not in the shoe locker, is he? Co's shoes are still in his box. It seems he's still at school. Hmm. You decided to go look for him. He also got me high rooftop. Co, you alright? What the heck are you doing? You see Ko. Hey. Pratt's over already? It's amazing that these schools have access to the rooftop, you know, and you can just go to the roof of the school. I can't imagine that happening here in New Zealand. Uh... Something wrong? <sighs> uh, it's nothing. No, I can't lie to you. There's something. Nothing big, though. Seems Ko was trying to find the right words. Hmm. I can't say you've got some nerve, because I have that nerve as well. I don't know if I like basketball anymore. Hmm. It's not my family. I got their blessing. They told me I could do whatever I want. It's funny, they were all so dead set against me playing ball, and now I can do anything. So I shot a few hoops this morning, but I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling anything. Hmm. It wasn't fun, it wasn't boring, it was just... nothing. Maybe it's because they were so against you playing ball and you've had like the sense of rebellion within you when you were doing it, and now that you can do anything you want, it's not the same, now that you have so many options available to you. Hmm. Ko looks up at the sky. I've been here since class got out. Then I heard all the sports teams started starting to practice, and I wondered, why does everyone look like they're having so much fun? felt so distant. I mean, if you do it often enough, right, it starts to feel like a chore, I guess. So you gotta find the passion within you to keep going. Ooh, a bird. Birds have the life, man. They can fly as high as they want. But me? I feel like I've sunk to the bottom of the ocean. It happens, man. You're just going through a phase. It might become permanent. It might just be temporary. But for now, just, you know... Let your mind wander. Think about doing something else for a while, huh? Let's go do something fun. Maybe we should go to one of those group blind dating things. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Chicks totally dig guys who are all chilled out and intellectual, right? Um, taken. I shouldn't be going to these dating things. <laughs> Co smiles ironically. Anyway, I'll be at the next practice, so don't worry. Thanks, man. Did you come up here just to find me? <laughs> Thanks, man. You're welcome. Ko grins. You feel your relationship with Ko has grown deeper. Alright, there you go. Rank 5 for fellow athletes. Your fellow athletes, social link has reached level 5. Your power to crypt is that the strength arcana has grown. I think I'll stay up here a little longer. i got some relatives coming over tonight, but I'm still not ready to meet them. I'm pretty good at putting up a facade, but it gets old sometimes. Hmm. Sorry, man. I just... I need a little space right now. That's fine. I'll leave you be. You decide to leave Ko staring at the sky and go home. What's the haps? I'm home. Exams are finished. Nanako doesn't seem to be home. I'm home! Oh, welcome home, little sis. My turn to do it. Oh, welcome back. I should be saying that to you. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Oh, really? Is it Tanaka thanking me for being a loyal customer? Is it my rare gift? What is this? The letter is addressed to Mr. Sowaku Sr. But the sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. Uh, should I be opening this? What if there's like ricin or something in it? <laughs> or what if it's a glitter bomb? There's only one sentence printed. Don't rescue any more. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? They know. Is it from a friend? No, far from it, Nanako. Far from it. Oh, my show is almost done. Go on. Don't rescue any more. 
It's not even in proper, gr like, punctuation or anything. Could this be a warning from the killer? Well, who else is it from? Or is it just a prank? No. Not a prank. You should discuss this with the group tomorrow. Uh-oh. What? Who's this? I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. God, I thought we switched over to yes, Death Note or something. It's much more peaceful than here. Who is this? What the heck is happening? We're ramping up. You showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue anymore. Hmm. Who knows that we're rescuing people now? Naoto does. But, I, like I said, I've already written her off. So who else could it be? How do they know it's us? What gave it away? Was it that guy at the, uh... At the concert? Is this a warning? I think so, guys. Honestly, we should be taking this very seriously. I can't believe we're all thinking, is this a prank? No punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliché. Damn it, Chie. <laughs> You're on the same wavelength as me. If only Yukiko has said it. <laughs> but yes. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? It's a very specific sentence, Kanji. You know, it's not like it, it said, don't shower anymore or anything like that. Did you show this to your uncle? And it's not like I'm a lifeguard or anything either. I don't plan to. Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. Exactly. I don't know who sent this to... And could be Dojima, could not be Dojima. I haven't written him off entirely just yet, but... Even if he's not involved... It could be someone within the police department, like Adachi or any other police officer. Maybe the one that stopped us when we had our freaking swords out and Kanji and, uh, sorry, Yosuke was dancing around with them. And the last thing I want is the killer to get word that we've received his message, you know? He will ask why you received such a letter. And if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. You're exactly right. If this letter is real, What's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. Mm-hmm. So not only do they know we're responsible, they know my name. Was he writing my name in that death note just now? This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. But why was it only addressed to me? Why wasn't it addressed to everyone? You know, it's like they know that I'm the leader. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. Hmm. Yeah, very ballsy. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. No, I don't think the killer would be that careless to leave any clues on here. Don't rescue anymore. No proper capitalization or punctuation. I don't know if that's going to give us a clue. The text is a warning while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. Mm -hmm. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. It just means that he knows that we're onto him. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. Thank you, Yukiko. See, she's all, also on my wavelength, justifying my choice. <laughs> How could the killer know so much about us? Hmm. I have to say, this might lean towards. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so here's the thing. This letter. We received this letter after our study group. Who was at our study group? Nanako was at our study group. What does that mean? Does that mean that she mouthed off about it somewhere? Is she involved? Like I jokingly said on the Discord server, but it might be a haunting joke now. Am I living with the family that slays together, you know? And like Nanako rings the doorbell and Dojima's the one that goes through the window and kidnaps them from behind. 
Hmm. Because the killer knows so much about us, it's got to be someone we're close with, right? I was think I was debating. I was like, is what meta is the game going to go with? Is it going to go with the fact that the killer is probably going to be one of our social links, or is the killer going to be just a random NPC that we see throughout the game but we never really interact with them? You know, like they don't have a portrait like Yuko does, for example. And that's why I was like, oh, it could be the old man at the top of the hill of the shopping district, or it could be a social link. Uh, and that's why I, you know. With Nanako, I don't think she's doing it willingly, if anything, you know? I feel like if it is Nanako, and I don't, I can't write things off, uh, it, it's possible that she's being used somehow, or, you know, she's being influenced by some sort of shadow <laughs> or something of the sort. So, we've got Nanako. Uh, I guess Adachi as well knows... We're kind of on this case because ever since Rize, right? He was working with us to try and protect Rize from being kidnapped. Of course, that failed. So, but then, you know, wouldn't he have written this letter sooner if it was him? You know, why, why leave it up until now to do it? Which is why I think I'm more inclined to think that's to do with that study group that we had and Nanako was there. Could he be watching us from somewhere? Hmm. And we've got that person at the, at the, um... Concert as well. I don't know who his identity is. Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Does he? Has he? Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? And the killer was watching us through the TV. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. But then how does that work, right? Because it's the Midnight Channel that plays at midnight. And whenever we go into the TV world, we go in during the day. So what, does it just like keep our highlights and play it at night? I suppose we don't watch the TV at night, the night we rescue someone. But if we did, would we see our own highlights? I don't know. I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. Yeah, that would've been like, hey, not only have you been playing at Rize's base, you were also on the Midnight Channel as well. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. Yeah, so we haven't appeared on the Midnight Channel. I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. I like how I'm still holding the letter like I'm displaying it to these guys, like this is Exhibit A, guys. For now, we need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. Yep, that's scary. We don't have the element of surprise anymore. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. He knows who we are, but we don't know who he is. We're at a severe disadvantage. Yeah, guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do, right? I'll admit he's got us a bit rattled. This is right. Yeah. Trying to demoralize us. He told the others we'll have to wait until the situation changes. But see, like, we're being reactive again. All right. I mean, yes, we don't have a lot to go on, but geez. Mind if I change the subject then? As long as it's not about exams. The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? All right, of course. That's right. Oh, yeah. It hasn't been decided yet, huh? I heard we'll be voting on it soon. But aren't they still gathering ideas? Hmm. I know what we could do. Why don't we do like a Russian roulette sort of thing with meatballs? <laughs> this time, we'll let we'll wait for the murderer to come and eat the spicy one. Whoa! I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. Uh oh, that's dangerous. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I'd bet my lunch on it. Hey, Senpai. Have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? Yes. My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I suppose we haven't made an official announcement, have we? Oh, she just had to say something. <laughs> girls, girls, it's fine. I'm surprised you could just like, kick her off the roof right there. So that was the video for today. Was that warning letter a prank? However, because you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until something occurs. Oh boy, Yukiko's just like, 
He's mine, Rize. He's mine. He's mine. <laughs>